Hey, I'm Anfa. In this video, I'll show you a short interview I've done with Nils Hilbericht, the man behind Sonic Convention. I think it's a very interesting look into why he created this event, and also, hopefully, it'll give you a little taste of what it feels like to be there. If you've missed it, I've already published a video with my 2019's Sony presentation about Vital. I'll put a card in the corner right now. Anyway, enjoy the interview. We are recording? What's, what's yes? Your, okay. The, I think about 10 minutes. Hey, it's Anfa and I'm here with Nils Hilbricht, who is the creator of Sonic Convention. Um, this is the third one. We are, it's 2019. And, um, how do you feel about this year's convention? Very good. So, um, we had very good talks and amazing people here. And um, yeah, everything went well. No bad stuff happened, no injuries. Uh, so it's, it's perfect, yes. No one got hurt. No one got hurt and you are here, of course. <laughs> uh, I wanted to ask you what made you decide to start this whole thing in the first place? Um, so I um, I like the scene uh, as I will explain uh, later I think and um, but it's very it's a very online community normally and there was only one event which is called the Linux Audio Convention um, which is a bit more academical and uh, technical so I want to meet people and um, so if nobody organized an event I had to do it myself. So, um, and I also had the experience um, by creating this local group, the Open Source Audio Meeting Cologne. And uh, so I, I already knew it would work and we had the, the rooms. So uh, it was actually an, an easy decision. Thank you. Um, I also wanted to ask, um, um, I know already, but many of you might not know. So I wanted to ask, what is your personal connection to music and also open source software? Because that's what the event is all about, right? Yeah, I am. Um, I make music myself for since I was four years old. I start playing with the piano, and I'm also super interested in computers. So I got my first computer when I was eight, I think. So that was in 1991. Yes, that's the year I was born. And um, so, uh, and ever since. Um, the, the combination started later when I was about 20, but uh, it's na natural progression. And the um, so now I'm, I'm a music teacher, and uh, so I have this private part where I don't know the private connection that I make my m music myself, and also that I teach music uh, in a school. So I need um, some some tools that help me to teach. Yeah, that's my connection with open source. So in the end, I um, I started programming myself as well, but I f still feel like like a musician. Uh, deep down so you're a musician first and you're making some software second yeah right what would you like to see in the future um, regarding the open source music making community uh, I think more more connection would be better so more more centralization more the, the separate small communities working more together even merging together so nobody feels out of the loop i think this is such a small community uh, or at least the visible part is so small um, that i think it would be better to join in fewer places so in the end, the, I, I, I think that means that more people will, will realize they are not alone. So ma many people here actually came to me and said, oh, I, I have nobody to talk to about this. I feel totally is isolated in my interest, in my hobby. And even they, they, they don't, uh, even with the online communities. So this is, uh, again, why the Sonar Commission is so good, because there's a personal uh, connection here. But also, I think this can be the whole whole community can be brought closer together, at least until there's so much, so many people, so much momentum, so much interest that it makes sense to to create subgroups. But right now, I think uh, we will greatly benefit from more social connections. Uh, I also felt pretty like separated, uh, so I didn't hesitate to 
um, answer to your invitation and come here and I felt right at home in, in this crowd. Yeah, you're welcome. That's, that's the intention. What do you personally think is the most exciting part of the Sony convention? And I'd like to ask this in the context of uh, every year's edition and also this uh, year's particularly. Um, that I mostly have no clue what's going to happen. So that's for me personally the exciting part. Uh, of course, I know a bit what the speakers and talks will be. And um, I now have, a, because people register as visitors, I know who will come. But in the end, I really don't know. And so there's uh, so many surprises and so many people uh, I didn't even, or, or topics, not people, I didn't even think think about in the first place. So this is um, so everyone gets so excited and motivated to be here, so pumped up that they um, bring every little piece and last piece of conversational and conversational topics and content and their own music and programs. They bring it here and get ready for the last minute. And um, yeah, that's uh, you can feel this here that um, even before the Sonar Convention actually starts, uh, there's an online act, um, activity, an increased activity. In the community, and I, I like that very much. That this is um, an effect of this event. Thanks. I also like experience this myself. I get very excited when like it's the, the week before, and I just I can help myself but to write everywhere and like talk to people I know will be there. And ah, are you ready? We're gonna meet again. Yes, <laughs> as it should be. Yeah, I think that's that's a great aspect, and it, you can really feel we're. We're happy to be here together. Um, so is there anything else you'd like to say to the community, to my audience on YouTube, basically? Um, <laughs> like, share, subscribe. <laughs> no, you already Smash are. That like Smash that like button and buy our merch. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. do you have it? Of course. <laughs> buy the t-shirts <laughs> and uh, come to the Sonar convention next year and try to stay informed even without our convention uh, try to find uh, online communities um, like librimusicproduction.com or um, the multiple chat channels that are out there there are several mailing lists try to find them and try to uh, use them and don't be alone I'll write that down and I'll put it on screen or in the description of this video so we can just click and get there. Thank you very much for this interview. I'm really glad to be here and thank you. My pleasure. No, don't submit. So that's it. Thank you for watching. I also want to thank Nils for creating this annual event and inviting me to it. As well as to my wife for being the camera woman. Also, huge thanks to all the fine people who support my work financially. Because of them, I was able to go to Sonoy to give my presentation and also to record this interview. So if you would like to join them and help me make more of this stuff, please go to patreon.com slash anfa or liberapay.com slash anfa. Now go and get your tickets for Sonoy 2020 or we'll make some music together.